All right, we're letting everybody in from the waiting room. Good morning, everybody. Uh, happy Thursday. Oh, my gosh. Uh, if you've been on any of my webinars in the past, you know that I am a total weather geek, and I am enjoying these last few mornings for sure. So hope everyone's doing well. Excited to be here for you guys. We're excited to be here for you. Excited for you to be here with me. Uh, as you know, we're going to jump into Instagram Reels. Um, not going to get too crazy with creating Reels, but I got some cool ideas for you guys. Talk about the value, why you should be doing it. Uh, certainly I will stutter at times because people are jumping into the waiting room and I need to let them back in. But um, at the end of the day, uh, we'll have a nice little group here. Hey, as always, uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you can always email me. I'm Keith, K-E-I-T-H at WestUSA.com. Um, if you have any uh, questions while we're in the webinar, by all means, you can feel free to unmute yourself or jump into the chat box there and uh, let me know what you're thinking, what you have any questions about. Instagram is a very, um, it can be complicated and overwhelming for sure. Um, so I certainly understand and will take things slow for you guys. Uh, if you have any ideas or questions you want to share, things that you found to be successful, by all means, share with us in the group. Love to hear from you guys. Um, I think that's about it. This is recorded. So if you miss anything or need to come back in because life happens, you need to take a call. Uh, I understand that you need to jump off. By all means, visit us at our YouTube channel, uh, West USA Realty, and uh, I have my own playlist, which has all of our classes in there, all the webinars that I've done. So not just Instagram, but anything that I've taught in the past, uh, uh, Canvas, Facebook, uh, next week will be Smart Video. Uh, you guys can always catch all of our recordings and view those at your leisure. So we'll get rock and rolling as we always do. We are very fortunate to have sponsors with us here at West USA, our lovely vendors who always help you guys out in your real estate needs. And uh, with us this morning, I have Amy, Amy, and I was gonna say, I was, I was gonna combine uh, uh, Fairway and Amy. So it was like Am Amway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. We're not Good doing morning. any multi-level marketing. So I just started watching that Lulu Rich uh, documentary about Lulu marketing. Oh my gosh, I watched the first episode last night. What a trip. But um, oh, awesome. Amy uh, Landway from oh. Fairway Mortgage, how are you this morning? Good morning. I'm doing great. Nice to see everybody on here. Um, like he said, my name's Amy and a fellow Instagram real newbie. So yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to this class and seeing um, all the tips and tricks that Keith has. Um, I am one of the seven licensed loan officers on our team. And I say that because we take a lot of pride in speed of service and communication. So if you're looking for a lender who's really on top of things, I uh, definitely encourage you guys to reach out to us. We um, have a dialer that works for you guys. Nice. For That's just something we provide. So if you have a bunch of leads or a CRM that you need help with um, getting through, contacting past your past database, uh, we have a dialer at your service. So Awesome. Something I'm really proud of um, that our team offers. Uh, as far as marketing, I do all the business development for our team. If you need help with open house material, anything of that nature, please reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help you or grab some coffee and talk to you some more one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and one of the things I'm going to reference in our reels is actually working with vendors. Bonus points if you guys can get a, a vendor on camera with you. You guys can do something fun. I know uh, Amy, as, as she has mentioned, uh, is, and I do follow her on Instagram. She's doing really well. I, I tell you, you're, I know you think you're a newbie, but like you're really embracing it and I'm enjoying your content. Uh, it's fun, engaging. And so um, and once you get past that apprehension, which I know you and I have talked about that, you know, then, then you're off and running. And at the end of the day, like, I don't care what people think of me, you know, um, I'm putting high value content out there, engaging entertainment, educational. And so uh, at the end of the day, it's a great tool for anybody to get some exposure. If you're looking to um, grow your base of people who follow you and, uh, and, and get out there and reach out to Amy, because I know she definitely um, is enthusiastic about it and uh, has a lot of great content. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Amy, definitely. And then uh, also to shout out to uh, American Title uh, Agency, also one of our vendors here, great partners of ours. Um, if you have any questions, Deidre is available for you. Her contact information is there. Again, uh, you know, you guys have so many potential new uh, first-time buyers who don't understand what all goes into buying a home, the whole contract, you know, from, a, from everything from, hey, I'm ready to list my house. No, you're not, because it looks like, you know, it looks bad if we need to work on it to the close of it. So uh, there's so many uh, 
processes that go along the way. So guys, reach out to your vendors because they can help fill in those gaps, answer those most common questions that you get. And then you're presenting yourself in an educational series and you look like the knowledgeable agent and you're leveraging the resources and knowledge from your vendors. So reach out to those two fine folks and they will help you along the way. All right, cool. Let's get rock and rolling. Instagram stats, like I always do with all Instagram, just to build value for you guys. And I know I often get the question, why? Why would I do this? Why do I need to do this? Uh, you don't need to do anything, but you'll want to because it is very advantageous for any real estate agent to use social media. A, because it's zero dollars. There's no cost associated with this. It's just going to be a little bit of your time. And once you get your uh, processes down, you're able to uh, formulate what you want to do, how you want to approach it. And, and, and knowing that um, you have a large uh, audience out there who's looking for information and this is how they're consuming content and this is why they're consuming content is they're doing their homework on you as an agent. And so uh, with a billion active users, 500 monthly daily users on Instagram, people are logging on and consuming a lot of content and at, 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 at five, 10 minute, 15 minute clips in between, you know, waiting in the doctor's office or, uh, you know, killing some time out at soccer practice, you name it. And so uh, 400 million users are uh, consuming stories on a daily basis. 80% of Instagram users follow a business account. You guys are a business. And so I know I follow a lot of other businesses that are using social media. Um, over 60% of people who use Instagram said that they have learned about a new product or service while viewing Instagram. So businesses are taking to this medium in order to get their information out there. You guys are no different as a real estate agent. In fact, you guys are, uh, um, have the ability to put out some really great content because you see these beautiful homes. The housing market's hot right now. Uh, you guys, your environment changes daily. So unlike someone who's stuck behind a desk all day, uh, you know, maybe in a, in a job that's not sexy, they're not going to have a lot of opportunity to create content. So they're going to struggle. They're going to have to think outside the box and be more creative to find it you guys, it's out there for you to take. So you got your phone in your hand, you're out there shooting content, um, just start capturing and curating content because uh, you, you have that luxury of being out there. 34% um, of uh, agents are on Instagram. Only 34% of licensed real estate agents in this, the country, NAR, uh, surveyed, and uh, a very small amount considering that there's so much potential for market share out there. So still, uh, while it's a very popular platform, not a lot of real estate, real estate agents have embraced it yet. And the ones that have are really um, reporting that they're doing really well, getting a lot of conversations going, um, you know, putting out content that's gonna get people to raise their hand and ask more questions, connect with you, reach out, uh, and you guys have the ability to build that relationship. Just like you would if you were out at Costco or run into somebody at the park or the mall, uh, what's a mall, right? Um, if anyone's out and about, uh, you know, obviously we're meeting face to face. Well, this is a great way for you guys to social prospect and build your audience at scale. 59% of millennials, that's the largest first time home buyer, uh, is using Instagram. They have consumed the most content on Instagram and it's the fastest growing amongst millennials. And uh, as you guys know, that's a qualified buyer that we want to be in front of. More and more of them are starting to get into the, to the, into the real estate in game buying their first home. And so if you're not here, it's definitely detrimental for you in growing your leads. IG posts with a face in them, uh, naturally with reels. If you're going to be on camera, whoop, I punched my microphone. If you're going to be on camera or you're apprehensive about being on camera, um, you know, just keep in mind that when you as your brand uh, are on camera, 34% are, are get more likes, more engagement. So you don't have to be all up in the camera every single time, but just do your best to showcase your personality when and if you can. Um, I understand that some people don't like being on camera. Get past that apprehension, guys, because it will be advantageous for you for sure. Uh, you guys are personally branding yourselves as agents. And so this is such an awesome medium in order to do it. Okay, let me move myself because I am in the way. All right, there we go. Instagram Reels, for those who don't know, if this is your first time getting into it or you've heard about it, everyone's saying, hey, you should jump in there and do it but I don't quite understand it. I'm not sure what it is. Then, then this is where we're going to cover this real quick. So Instagram Reels basically is filling in the gap in between stories and IGTV. Instagram uh, sto uh, stories, as you, as you guys know, are those 10 second short clips that expire. 
after 24 hours and then only on live in your archived uh, on your Instagram account. And if you're not sharing those on your highlights, then no one can ever see them again. Your reels, on the other hand, uh, live and stay and can go on and play and uh, people can view them over and over again. I've got a few in particular that I still get people looking at, you know, weeks, months later. And that helps you become discoverable on social media and on Instagram specifically. So much like uh, TikTok or Snapchat, Reels is basically uh, Instagram's answer to that. It's its competitor. And right now, more than any other time, Instagram is all in on Reels. They want Reels to take over. They want it to be the most dominant platform uh, for this form of media, this creative video content. And what they've done is, and I will talk about the algorithm, they've gamed the algorithm up so that they've turned the dial up so that um, more and more people are seeing reels in their feed, in their content, which is going to be great for us because we'll get more exposure for little effort. So I uh, definitely want to keep that in top of mind. So unlike stories, as I mentioned, they don't disappear after 24 hours. And uh, it's a great way for you guys to share content and talk about behind the scenes, uh, what you're doing as a real estate agent, showcasing your listings. Uh, answering questions that people may have about specific um, in, in, uh, specific real estate industry questions and needs. And uh, it's a great way for you guys to create micro content and uh, what we call bite-sized content and then move on to something else. But again, you guys are getting exposure, getting your name and your face out there. So uh, Instagram Reels is the ability for you guys to combine multiple clips, just like a, a short little video, 30 seconds, Instagram now allows up to 60 seconds, which is awesome, especially for you guys who are uh, presenting questions that people may have. And then these clips can come either from you shooting live from your phone or brought in from your camera roll, i.e. if you had already gone out and done some uh, pan shots or some walk and talks through an open house, then you can aggregate those into your camera roll and then create a Reels, account, uh, Reels from it, a actual real clip. Really uh, opens the door in terms of what kind of content you can create. There's a music library, which is awesome. Uh, we'll talk about why she paid attention to trending music. And then also um, you, um, these, the music that you have on here is copy free, royalty free. So there's no worries about infringing on anybody. Uh, you guys can uh, check there are thousands of music catalogs uh, available for you to add to any of your video. Plus, Instagram Reels is equipped with the new uh, Instagram editing tools, which we'll go through. I'll show you guys all those tools and how they work. Uh, you don't have to use all of them, but you can to really create some crazy videos. Some of the some of the Reels creators out there, content creators, uh, I just scratch my head sometimes because I understand the platform. I know how it works, but just their creativeness and how they put things together is really amazing. So we won't get too crazy about that, <laughs> but we will get you the basics for sure. And then also too, what's neat too, is you have the option to slow down your clips. You know, there's speed adjustments in there as well as trimming and applying all these different effects to your reels. So some content ideas for you. Let me bounce over here. Some content ideas for you guys that just to think about, um, and again, you know, if you want to take a screenshot of this or you write these down, um, there's so much content out there for as a real estate agent that uh, when I often get the question, what do I do? What do I talk about? Guys, it's really easy. Talk about what you do. Uh, take your most common questions, like the top three questions that you get the most, and answer those in a reel. It could be just as simply as you holding the camera, uh, you know, doing a, a turn the camera around so it's facing you, or putting it into a tripod, hitting the timer, stepping back and answering. Hey, one of the most common questions I get is, what's the first three things that I need to do before I even list in my house or before I even tell my real estate agent I'm ready to rock and roll. And, and then boom, 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 here's the three things they should do. That's it, 30 second clip, 60 second clip, move on. Uh, market update, right? What's happening in a specific neighborhood? As you guys know, you all should be working on being the neighborhood mayor. So create a clip about a specific 85085 area code or, um, uh, or zip code. Uh, if you are um, uh, talking about a specific neighborhood and the market trends, uh, inventory has doubled in this area. It's a hot neighborhood. Now's the time. If you're interested, talk about that. Listing tours. So if you've got a listing, whether it's one, two, three, uh, you can do a collage. You can showcase some individual shots of the exterior of the home, street address at the bottom, add some music. Home seller checklist, a home buyer checklist. We all have seen those in some form or another, whether it's an ebook or something you've put out. So maybe you create a quick little video, 
with some music to it on here's the three things on a, on a home seller's checklist. And then for the rest, message me and I'll get you the other seven or 10 or 12 or whatever it is. So that's the hook. Get them to connect with you, open that conversation, build that relationship, add them to your CRM, get them in a drip campaign. So again, this is where we're fishing right now. This is where we're hooking people in to take them on into more content that you may have created. A day, a day in a life is real popular. What's it like being a real estate agent? What's it like um, you know, going throughout your day? Uh, uh, start your morning off with, you know, if it's pouring a cup of coffee, quick clip of you pouring coffee, uh, get into the car or pulling up, you know, your comps, you're checking your listings or checking what listings are in the market. Um, you're writing a, uh, an offer letter. Uh, if you're meeting with your loan officer or title rep, whatever the case may be, you can record these little clips, little five, little 10 second clips. And at the end of the day, stitch these all together and do something fun with music on the day in the life of a real estate agent uh, and have fun with it. You know, if there's some funny things or some, if there's some struggles or, oh, I hate this part of my day, you know, showcase that. People want to see realness. They want to see genuine, uh, your, uh, how genuine you are, your authenticity. And I really think that plays well for you guys. Uh, day, day of uh, showing um, tips, day of showings as a buyer. So what does it look like uh, for buyers? You know, when they go around and you're doing, um, you're, you're meeting with them, walking a house, talking about particular homes they may be interested in. Uh, uh, realtor humor is real big, relate to other agents. So um, you, you guys as agents probably talk about things behind the scenes that, you know, happen with buyers or buyers always do this or sellers always do that. Without offending anybody, use that as a way to showcase some humor. Uh, awesome content and to joke about as well. Uh, what it's like preparing for an open house. That's a great behind the scenes one as well. And then staging advice. Uh, if you guys work with a stager or know of a stager, see if you can get them on and do a quick tip uh, on staging the house for the listing. Uh, I know my agent was awesome. They said, hey, number, well, I knew this anyways, being in the industry, but you know, my agent was like, hey, make sure you declutter your home, uh, depersonalize your home, right? Like, Let's get the family photos off the wall because we don't want to show the memories you they've had. We want to we want people to be able to visualize the memories they're going to have in that new home, and so uh, you know denutralizing, depersonalizing, and um, or decluttering, and then neutralize the home. So make sure we paint everything all one palette. We don't need to see the pink room and the purple room and the awful teal green room or any of that. Um, we want people. To, I don't know if someone to comment. So. Um, yeah, there's a lot you could do and use that advice and, and have fun too. If you guys find some like photos or video of just terrible homes, show the bad ideas where people are like, oh my gosh, like I could never list a home that looked like that, uh, where the, you know they've got stuff hoarded all over the kitchen. So uh, lots of cool options for you guys there. If you were to take away anything from today's webinar, here's three hot real ideas that I think you guys should get started with. Number one, video, viral trends. And we'll get into, I'll show you where to find all this stuff. And when we get into a live environment, I'll, I'll bring up my phone and we'll, um, we'll go live. Viral trends. Uh, you guys have the ability to find and listen to what music everyone is listening to right now. You can see what music is popular. Um, there are, um, uh, you'll start to notice as you're watching reels and, and, and before you guys even get going with reels, start watching reels. Um, start seeing what's out there. See what other agents are doing. And you guys can see things at work, things that you didn't like, and then start to replicate those. A very uh, ethical hack, a life hack, is to see something else another agent is doing, take that idea, make it your own, and obviously it is going to be you as opposed to them. Your audience is completely different than theirs, so you're not going to have to run in any situation where someone's like, hey, that was my idea. You know, I, I see agents from all over the country when they're posting in reels. I um, mean, you know, I like to see where they're at. And again, their audience is completely different. But what we're doing is in the in the music trend is if you find a song that's popular right now that people are listening to, uh, the, the uh, algorithm will start to detect that um, this music, this particular song is popular. Now, you'll see the kids dancing and dancers, they may be dancing to that particular song. It doesn't mean that you have to go out and learn how to break dance real quick, all right? Uh, take the song and add it to something that you want to do. If that's, a, if that's just showcasing a home or doing a quick walk and talk, 
uh, the algorithm doesn't know the difference. It just knows that you're using a very popular song right now. And then naturally it's going to work your video into the trend because 20 million people are listening to that particular song and any video that has the song tied to it. Um, recipes, a real popular trend. People, uh, you'll see someone making a, a simple recipe and then people do it and make it themselves. And they'll uh, shoot some quick video of them making the recipe and the outcome. I did one with simply making, you know, French bread from scratch. So buying a nice loaf, making my own, um, you know, um, butter, garlic, uh, you know, parsley, and then making this bread goes in the oven, comes out, and through the magic of TV, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I stop the video, open the door, then the fresh loaf comes out, already done. And, you know, that's something I like to do. And so I was just testing out how that works. And so you guys can take recipes, reproduce those. And then obviously people are going to discover that you're, you're a real estate agent at some point because they're following you or linking back and looking at your bio. Hacks is real big, guys. Uh, uh, three hacks for doing your backyard or three hacks for DIY projects in the kitchen or three hacks for remodeling your bathroom. Um, you know, lots of ideas out there for you. Number two, educational series. So we've talked about this already, guys. Uh, get into some FAQs, answers and solutions. You guys get these questions all the time. So jump on the video. Hey guys, uh, one of the top questions that I get is what should I do before um, I, what should I do to, to find out if I can get qualified or what do I, how do I get pre-qualified? And one, two, three, here's the answers. And this is what I share with my potential clients. I work with, you know, Fairway Mortgage and, uh, you know, Justin and his team are awesome over there. And this is the three things that they tell me that I should advise all my buyers to do, da, 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 da. Or bonus points, get them on the video with you guys and let them share those three answers with you and your audience. Uh, great opportunity, you guys, to grow and showcase your expertise as an agent. Last one there, mayoral campaign. You guys are supposed to be the mayors of your neighborhood. You're supposed to know where's the best place to get a cup of coffee. Uh, what's the best donut at Bosa Donuts around the corner? Um, who's, you know, the, the what's the number one menu item at mom and pop uh, shop XYZ? Who's got the best patio with the best brewery? And, uh, you know, you guys can do some cool content around that as well, showcasing these neighborhoods. Bonus points again, if you can get the actual owners or you know a general manager on video with you and just do a quick little interview, like in the photo here, uh, she's taking a shot of the kit of the chef in the kitchen. You guys, uh, you know these businesses need love just as much as we do as agents, and so if you guys can be that connector again, be that neighborhood mayor. I, there's no reason I don't see why anyone would be apprehensive if you were to pick up the phone, talk, talk to the GM. Uh, I, I worked in the real, in, in restaurant business for a long time, guys. Best time to call is uh, between 9 and 10 a.m. Uh, 11 o'clock doors are going to open. So call early. General manager is usually in. You'll probably get one person. Uh, uh, servers are setting up for the morning. Just ask. You get a few minutes of the time, the general manager. And if they wouldn't mind you coming on the premises. Um, and then, of course, uh, if you can interview them, great. If not, sit down as a customer. Ask what's the number one menu item. Order it. Then give your critique. Hey, this is this pizza is phenomenal, and go on from there. All right, ideas real quick. We'll fly through these content ideas for creating your first reels. Um, those last three would be the, the series that I would say uh, viral trends, educational, and then uh, neighborhood spotlights, mayoral campaign. Other things you guys can do here: uh, home and lifestyle ideas and tips. People love this stuff when it comes to DIY projects. Uh, get with a contractor. What's one thing you can do to, uh, you know, revamp or beautify your backyard? The weather is becoming amazing and we're all going back out and sitting outside. I know I enjoyed sitting outside last night um, and you guys can, you know, you start looking at your, at your backyard and you're like, oh man, I haven't, you know, trimmed that back in a while. Uh, you guys can do some cool stuff with backyards and, and so on. Neighborhood highlights, I already talked about that. Uh, decluttering tips for your kitchen or bathroom. Um, you know, simple things. I, I see DIY videos all the time and I'm like, okay, that's a great idea. Just go make one for yourself. And it's your voice. It's your house. It's your uh, open house, whatever the case may be. And it's you creating content for your followers. Um, how to paint a room. How do we check, check color palettes? Go to Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, talk with a paint specialist. And how, how, what's the best way to determine how and what colors we should use in a home, what colors go together. 
organizing tips we talked about that with um with a uh a, a decluttering and, and uh, staging uh landscaping ideas how to make your bed cozy that's a that's a popular one what are things you could do to make a bed cozy um new place move it into a new home uh i know sometimes you 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 get up you forget the bathroom is now right now instead of left uh, things you can do to um, stage a home for your convenience fast food favorite food is a good one for recipes how to make coffee uh, with uh, with slow drip, French press, that's a big one. Uh, and then of course, breakfast inspiration, lots of breakfast ideas around town. Just a number of things you guys can do to showcase your expertise in the neighborhood. So understanding the algorithm is a big one for you guys as well. Um, you're entering in, uh, yeah, your videos, first and foremost, are they, are they entertaining and fun? Are they educational? Um, things that grab people's attention, makes them laugh. You know, you have a small amount of, uh, it, it, we're, we're in the attention game right now. We're trying to get people's attention, okay? And you only have a short few seconds to capture their attention when they're scrolling through your content. It's what we call thumb stopping content. Um, so grabbing their attention right off the bat often can be pre presented in a way of a hook. Hey guys, have you ever looked into buying a new home but realized that, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a hot market and it's hard to, to stand out? Or, um, uh, are you guys looking to buy a home, but what do you do where you have to buy the home, but then, uh, or you have to be out of your home, you're selling your home, but you, what do you do to find another home when there's no inventory? Uh, what are the tips around that? <clears throat> Excuse me, how do you guys often answer those questions? The great way to capture people's attention. Uh, use the creative tools like text and filters, camera uh, effects that we have available in the reels. Use vertical video. So that's gonna be this. This is your vertical video as opposed to horizontal. You can put horizontal shots in there. Uh, they'll just need to be stretched out. But for the most part, you can definitely use uh, those sizes. But vertical video. So in this case, if you guys are out shooting, we're going to shoot vertically. Uh, you can't even see my camera. But uh, that way, you, it, it fills the whole frame, and then you know what, what you're looking with and tell the whole story. Again, music, music trends is a, pop, is a popular one. Instagram has a large library for you guys to create audio. And then uh, experiment. Um, you know, you guys can create reels up until the point where you post them and then review them and see how they look and like, ah, the timing was a little off or ah, I didn't get this stitched right. Uh, shoot your reels all the way to the point where you post and then critique them. Uh, use your home as an example, uh, instead of an open house, or if you don't have an open house right now, use your home to practice so that when it comes time, you know what you need to do. That's what I've been doing. I've been jumping in on trends uh, and, and seeing what it does for me. Uh, people, a trend is when people see something they really like and they wanna consume everything and anything that does, has to do with that trend. And if a trend is hot and you get in at the right time, it really can pay off. And I, I'll show you an example of one that I did and it blew my mind because it didn't take me but 30 seconds to do it. And it's gotten me the most viral views out of everything that I've ever shot. Uh, try something new, be yourself, of course, to see what works for you, important, important. So, all right, that's me right there. <laughs> uh, of course, I'm on social media, guys. Feel free to follow me. I will follow you back. Love to see what you're doing. And uh, we will go from there. So let me click into stop sharing. And I'm going to get into a live. Uh, let's see. Yes, camera, please. I apologize for all these notifications that pop up. And... Boom. All right, there we go. So we are on. Yes, I do have 189,904 unread emails. So please don't shoot me. I apologize. But uh, <laughs> uh, I, as far as I know, I think I hold the record for all my friends. So if anybody's got me, feel free to let me know. But uh, yes. So all right. So jumping into Instagram, um, you guys, if you haven't uh, are done so, jumping into Instagram, I'm going to switch over to our West USA one because I know that's a safe environment. Oh, and I didn't plan that one, guys. Look at that. Amy, right uh, right off the bat, right there. Uh, Amy from uh, Fairway Mortgage. So um, guys, definitely follow Amy. She's doing great work. She's doing an awesome uh, job with creating content. She's also responsible for managing uh, Justin Frederick's team their Instagram account as well. And I know that they could definitely use the love because they've been putting out some cool content and just a lot of educational stuff. Uh, even though you may not be looking to buy or sell a home right now, just knowing what the, the rates are and you know interest rates, available um, uh, buyer options, it's just amazing all the stuff that they have. So uh, there's my shameless plug. Okay, right off the bat, first thing I always advise everybody is uh, if you're not creating reels, let's kill. Sometimes you gotta open. 
There we go. If you're not creating reels, guys, first and foremost, just be a consumer, right? Consume the content. If you want to learn how wheels work, get interested in it. Let me move some stuff around here quick so I'm not blocking my screen. All right, cool. And chat box. I got two things in the chat box. Guys, I'm sorry I missed that. Hold on here. There we go. Okay, cool. Amy dropped in her stuff. I uh, have you be okay. Susan has me beat. Sweet, awesome. I love it. I, I go to my dentist's office all the time, and he's like, my wife has like one hundred and forty thousand, and I used to be over two hundred, but I have been deleting some spam emails and those, you know, uh, drip campaigns and everything. Um, so uh, when it comes to reels, if you guys haven't, you're not creating them yet. You're apprehensive. All I advise you to do is just start watching reels just getting into reels and that's going to be clicking on that center button right here uh right here at the bottom the reels button just start watching reels you'll see these guys are very there, there's gonna be a lot of advanced reels out there where they're jump cutting and so uh you guys love that's a very popular one where you jump cut you'll see people put their hand over the screen and then they'll move it away and it's like they're in a, in a different outfit uh that's just some simple ones doing that one um, scrolling up, uh, so just sw swapping up will take you to the next Instagram reels, and as you start to go through. Um, you've got everyone from photographers who are um, showcasing what they do, sharing their tips and ideas. Um, it's just amazing. So a lot of this is behind the scenes content, things that we never saw before. Um, and you either had to go to YouTube or back in the day when it was just traditional TV um yes yeah, definitely spam mail all right <laughs> um back in the day where it was like you know we I, I have this conversation with my son a lot where he's i try to tell him about i tell him about back in the day we would go to the grocery store we would buy a thing called a tv guide and then that would tell us what was going to be on tv the next week coming up and then we would have to wait for that particular show to be on at a particular time in our in our in our on demand world now, it was hard for him to understand that. Wait, you have to wait for something to come on at a particular time, and then again, someone's telling you that this is what you're going to watch and this is all you're going to watch. And I told him, yeah, I said that's how it used to be. Believe it or not, uh, you know, I'm like, we didn't we didn't we didn't have internet where we would have to we could pull up whatever we wanted. I didn't couldn't Google something. I couldn't watch a video on how to make. French bread, uh, you know, a garlic bread. I, I had to either ask someone who knew how to do it or I went and bought a book. <laughs> so, and then there was cooking shows, obviously. But in this case, guys, there's just so much content that we can consume. Uh, obviously, this is here, someone showing how to use a cricket and they're making their cricket um, ideas. Again, you guys have a lot of other passions, a lot of things that you're interested in that are not just real estate. There's no reason why you guys can't use that as content creation as well, because chances are you're going to have your content show up in a feed for someone who shares that same interest as you do. And then uh, if they comment or like or engage them in a conversation, like, hey, I'm also a real estate agent. Are you in the Arizona market? Uh, here's a great one. Here's someone who's doing uh, a remodel. And obviously he's uh, not a religious man, but this is hard, <laughs> but this hit hard. So he's talking about obviously probably being inspired to do a remodel or a tear out. So as I'm scrolling through this content, guys, I'm just looking for things that I could do that might be easy um and i could use a showcase and so that's going to be the big one for you guys is just consuming now if you're ready to rock and roll i'm gonna go back to the home tab here home is in your bottom left corner when you tap on your bottom right uh icon here which is your um your home button for your profile i'm watching the chats in case somebody has any questions um to get started, the easiest thing for you to do in the upper right hand corner up here, there's a little plus symbol. We're going to tap on that plus symbol. And this is where we have our options to create. This is a create a plus symbol, which means I want to create content. First, you have your post, which is your main feed. Okay. This is going to be your, 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 your square symmetrical uh, for your feed, which is all this right here in the content. This is all of our main feed for your news feed. Um, or you've got reels, which is what we're going to do, stories highlights igtv video you can go live and if you go live obviously it brings open your camera and then you can go live to your audience you currently have 64 followers that are active right now i'm not going to go live but this is just showcasing you what what i can um and then from there then you have your guide guide is a unique a new uh offering from instagram guide allows you to review places that you've been products that you've bought and posts that you've had um it's kind of a it's a I'm going to be getting into this more, how it can benefit a real estate agent, because you guys, 
as agents out in the world, um, you could be great guides and give your reviews, suggestions, and ideas. And again, it's just another place for you to get some exposure for you as an agent, but we won't get into that right now. I'm gonna hit the plus symbol and I'm gonna go to real. All right, my camera's gonna pop open. I'm gonna flip my screen just so you're not staring at my face the whole time. Um, and then uh, you guys can see what I see here, right? So I'm gonna kind of hold this in one spot. Uh, give me something dark here. So we can hold on here. Let's do this. Okay, cool. All right. I'm using the I'm using a dark background right now. Just my hat sitting here on the desk, so that you guys can see the, all the tools more clearly. On the left hand side, you've got your tools. All right. When I hit that little arrow down and it opens up, I've got audio, length, speed, effects, touch up and timer and close to minimize the window. Okay, that little arrow will open up more of your edit to editing tools and close it for you. In the top left corner is your X button. That means to close out, gets out of your reels. So we're gonna go back in just so if you ever wanna cancel out or not actually create something. Uh, in the upper or at the top center of the screen, you've got your flash. So uh, the camera will detect if you have low lighting, you'll be able to turn the flash on and it'll turn the flash on when it feels to be appropriate. So on, automatic, and then off. And then you've got your uh, moon, which is gonna uh, open, give you more aperture. That means that there's low light situations. It'll open up a little more lighting so that um, your, it's detecting that it's dark. And so you have the option to um, have a little more um, uh, exposure for low light situations. And that's new to a lot of phones. You may not have that if you have an older iPhone, but it's an option for the newer ones. All right. Number one, uh, audio. So when you tap on the audio button, this is going to be your music search. This is where you'll be able to search for music. Um, you are able to see what's trending, what's popular. Uh, real quick, guys, one of the things that I wanted to mention also uh, a simple Google search will allow you to find out what's trending on TikTok or on Instagram Reels. There's a lot of software services out there. There's a lot of apps out there. Uh, you can see what songs are popular, what's trending. Whether you discover that just by being a consumer of Reels and you know, I keep hearing that song, uh, then find out what that song is if you wanted to use it. In this particular case, let me go back to Reels real quick and see if... Um, Okay, so that song's popular. I'm going to tap on the bottom right corner. I'm going to hit pause so you're not having to listen to that. This particular song, the original audio is Rider Hoodie T. So this, if I like this song and this song is a popular one, it seems to be trending. I can scroll through all the other reels that have used this song. As you can see, guys. I'm sorry. As you guys can see these videos just from scr scrolling through the thumbnail these videos are all over the place we've got people doing art we've got cakes we've got uh, photography uh, exterior shots pets so no one song dictates that the, that's what you have to you, everything has to be about food or everything has to be a dance not everybody's doing dances trust me as a former dancer i i kind of get an itch every now and then i want to get up and do one of these dances but I also haven't broken anything in my life, so I'm not trying to do it now. <laughs> so, but you guys can add this trending song to anything that you're doing and get in on that viral trend and really take it to the next level. Here's my case. Here's my case in point. I'm going back over to my Instagram account and I'm going into my reels. These are the reels that I've done. This one right this here. Filter shows well, how you look without your glasses. So this filter was, it's a gag filter where I took a piece of string and pretended if we've all seen these, this is what it looks like without your glasses on and it actually rips your glasses off. I got 27.6 thousand views on this one right now. And if I go into the actual song or the, the audio of it, the original person is at 2.3 mil. And um, I, I was, oh, I was in there. So I'm not trending anymore because um, it's been a while, but uh, compared to everybody else, like I've had a lot of views and it was my most viral quote unquote um, that I've ever had and uh, got a lot of exposure, 666. Well, I don't like that 666, like, hold on. All right, let me tap on that. <laughs> I liked my own so that I wasn't a 666. <laughs> 
Um, so uh, comments, people jump in, they comment. So engage these people in conversation. Hey, thanks so much. I really appreciate that. Um, you know, this was funny. Really, thanks for watching. The, the, I really appreciate it. And then engage those people in conversation. Uh, another one that was popular was the one with my daughter. Um, this one resulted in 228 likes and 13.3 thousand. And this was a trend. This was the Coco Melon trend. If any of you have, have kids or grandkids, Coco Melon, you play the Coco Melon sound of the car, of the cartoon from the other room, and people you would see people's kids come running. And so this is this is just seeing what your kid's reaction was when they hear Coco Melon. They're like, wait, who's watching Coco Melon in the other room? Uh, and and it, it ended up being pretty funny. So I just wanted to showcase uh, just getting in on a trend. I never thought for a minute that I would have this many views, but it, it, I grew my followers by like 20 or 30 followers. And uh, so now I need to put keep putting out content because people want to follow you because they think you're putting out good stuff, educational, entertainment and so on. All right, we'll hop back over to Instagram on uh, West USA. All right, reels. So find your audio or if not, shoot your video and then go back and add audio to it. Easy to do. I'm not going to add audio right now so that it doesn't keep looping and you guys have to listen to it for the next 15 minutes. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to simply come over here. I'm going to choose uh, my length. By tapping on my length, I can go 15 seconds, 30 seconds, or 60 seconds. So depending on how long of a video you wanna shoot, that's gonna be your max. 60 seconds just became available in the last six months or so, uh, which is nice, especially for you guys doing home tours. Speed, I can either slow down or speed up the video, uh, which is really nice. And um, just depending on what you wanna do, you have that option, which is really cool as well. I'm gonna leave it at time for one. Effects. You can go into a ton of different effects um, that will either, you know, soften your face, take out the wrinkles, put funny horns on your head. Uh, there's just a lot of, uh, of effects in there. You can see what's trending. Okay, so right now, this particular effect with the twinkles is trending. Anything that you can use that's trending is going to be great for you guys because the algorithm is identifying that this is really popular right now. A lot of people are watching this because of the music because of the filter um, or because of the content. Uh, so anything trending, if you can get in on it, it's gonna uh, help you grow your audience and your exposure exponentially. I find that the sound, the reels lags a little bit with video. Do you find that the same? That does happen. Sometimes there is, a, there is an issue with um, the lagging. Nothing really we can do on our end about that. Sometimes it's spot on, sometimes it lags. I, I just chalk it up with, you know, someone's having a Monday, you know, uh, and then, you know, come back to the next day and it's fine again. Um, so yeah, so if you're trying to nail your audio to, if you're trying to, if you're, if you're using, um, uh, overlays for like, Hey, three things you should do to, you know, buy a home, uh, or to pre-qualify. And then you point to number one and the, and the words come up, you point to number two, the words come up, you're trying to hit that beat. Sometimes it'll little be off, but do your best that it usually it works itself out. Uh, trends, reels, uh, what's trending as far as uh, on reels. So you can go through any of these filters. Uh, and then tap, tap anywhere for transition. So <laughs> all these create little, uh, this is like a morph zoom. So if I'm like shooting like my cup, I can go and zoom right in. There's some really cool effects in here, guys. And a lot, it can be overwhelming. That's why I tell you practice in your home. Um, find an idea that you like and you want to replicate and then uh, use the same filters, use the same music, use the same effects and learn how to do it it'll be it'll be really cool for you to figure it out um let's go effects off go back into that let's see um tap to find a face there you go this one's a real popular one so people will take this just their eyes and their mouth and they'll put this over something so uh if they want to put it over a cup or they just want to um uh, use this face builder and uh th they can basically give anything eyes and a mouth and then uh you know maybe it's um uh, maybe it's a picture of a contract, you know, and you're like, ah, make sure you sign all your spots, sign a date, you know, do something fun with contracts and then give a tidbit about, you'd be surprised, make sure. um, you know, that sometimes yeah. things go, un go unchecked or, uh, this is so weird. <laughs> all right, let's get out Fucking of here. funny. Uh, all right, let me get back into the stories yeah. here. So just give you guys an idea on filters. We could spend seriously five hours on the filters. There's so many of them, but um, let me flip this back around. And we'll go into this 
settings again. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Oh, I'm in story. Sorry, guys. Let's go reels. So effects, lots to do. Touch up is just a simple touch up. That's going to be their their, their software uh, that automatically makes adjustments. Uh, you know, smooths out some wrinkles, um, color balance. Touch up is just a one button solution that make it look a little prettier, for lack of a better term. Timer is a big one for you guys. Um, so you're going to drag and choose long uh, how long this clip will be. So we've got everything from a five second to a 30 second clip, okay? And then you can set your timer. So in the upper right hand corner there of this little box for timer, tap once, uh, three seconds, 10 seconds, three seconds, 10 seconds, real simple, right? 10 seconds gives me, uh, or three seconds, to put the camera on a tripod, a tripod, a tripod, a tripod, and then hit set timer. So now when I hit the center uh, capture button, I'm gonna get a three, two, one, and then it starts recording. So this is for hands-free, guys. So allows you to step back if you're on a tripod or uh, leaning up against something. Um, this is usually hands-free, and you can get a little more in frame. So not all of us have long arms, so it's kind of hard for us to get our arms straight. And then you can uh, walk up, hit tap again, which is nice. Now, uh, when you do that, you can go in and you can trim you can trim your audio or you can trim your clip. So if I'm walking up here, let's do this. Let's cancel this and trash it. Let's flip this around. All right, so timer. Nope, apologize. Let's kill that clip. I'm not gonna talk. Uh, let's go here, go timer. Turn the touch up on. Three seconds, 10 seconds. All right, start, here we go. So three, two, one, I step away from the camera. And I do away whatever I'm doing. Da, 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 da. Now I'm going to reach up and hit stop. You see where my hand reaches up and I hit stop on that, right? Well, I want to cut that out because that's that's a clip that needs to be trimmed. So I'm going to come over here, open the trim with the scissors, and boom, I'm done speaking right here. There we go. And I'll hit trim in the upper right hand corner. And now my video is trimmed out. I trim out the part where I'm walking to and from the camera. That cleans it up, makes it a nice cut. All right, you guys understand the trim part there. You can use this for a lot of different things, but highly recommend using a timer, especially yourself a tripod so it can sit straight. And that way you don't have any issues with um, shaking or guys, this is the worst. I hate watching reels like this. Shouldn't I want to find the you trim? Just, you shouldn't have any reels that do that uh, because you have all these editing abilities to clean it up and make it look nice. Okay, so I'm going to do a real quick on reels, uh, show you guys a fun one here. I'm going to tap into my camera roll in the bottom left corner, and I'm going to pull up these shots of interiors of homes. So these are just any Joe Schmo photo I grabbed off the internet. I can do one of two things. I can, uh, when I add this photo in, now I can come to preview, and I, there's my video, or there's my clip, uh, and I can hit edit clips, and I can decide... I, want, I don't want this to be a five second clip. I'm gonna drag and make this a three second clip. I think three seconds is good to get an idea of what we're looking at. And I'm gonna hit uh, to all clips and then hit done. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, hit the back button in the upper left hand corner. I wanna add another clip. So I'm gonna come uh, to my camera roll again. I'm gonna choose my next one. And I'm gonna uh, click on the right here and drag this back to three seconds. From the beginning and i'm going to hit add i'm going to do this again i'm going to go into my camera roll bottom left corner choose my other photo and i'm going to drag this one to three seconds and i've got one more here three three whatever three and some change hit add you guys see in the upper top left corner up here got uh where my timeline is building there's photo one there's photo two mm -hmm. there's photo three I've identified a 30 second clip and here's my timeline and here's all my images, whether this is a video or this is a still image, these are all being clipped together as you're building out your video. Last one, top left or bottom left corner, tap on the uh, screen and we're gonna go three seconds. I'm just using my finger to slide the dial over and I'm gonna hit add. All right, so now I've got my four together. Um, I'm gonna come into my preview, which is the preview button right here. And I can watch these right now, see if I like them. One, two, three, on the next photo. Cool. Now, I can hit uh, edit clip here at the bottom and I can adjust all these clips from this preview screen. 
and I can see how they all play together. Or um, if I want, I can tap on one of them and then adjust it accordingly and then apply any edits to all the clips if I want. In this case, I'm gonna hit pause. I'm gonna go back to all my clips and I'm looking at this particular one. All right, cool. Let's go back. Now, what I wanna do here is, um, is go into, um, uh, from, where's it at here? From my uh, edit screen, which is the drop down arrow, I wanna add music to this. So I'm gonna hit audio. Now, if I know of a song that's trending that everyone's you know, listening to right now and one and trending songs are popular to get in on because trending songs mean the algorithm is pushing this out, people are consuming um, a lot of the content uh, because of the song, uh, then get in on a song and choose a song that's gonna work for you in this particular case. Uh, yes, where do you find the scissors? Let me go back real quick and show you. Uh, right next to this guy right here, we're gonna hit this guy, hit the back. This is gonna take you into the edit of your, um, of your timeline. I can tap on any one of these clips and select the clip that I want and then tap on the scissors. And that'll bring up now whether your video in the beginning is you walking away from the camera or you know the, the beginning of the video wasn't what you wanted or you can end it where you want at the other end. Currently, there's no way for you to, um, to cut these clips, meaning that if I shot like a 10 second video and I wanted to cut the video in half or I wanted to cut out a section of it, there isn't currently the ability to do that. But I suspect it's coming down the road mm -hmm. since so many other video apps video editing apps that exist allow you to do this. It's just good, naturally the next evolution of Instagram adding that capability to creating your videos. All right, I'm gonna hit trim and uh, my video is all good together. I'm gonna hit done. I'm gonna come back into the music and I can go through and, and by hitting the play button uh, on the, any one of these play buttons will give me a preview of the song. So I can listen to the song, see if it's something that I wanna play. You know, something probably be something upbeat or thrilling. You know, something that's trending that's it's really cool. All right. I'm going to tap on the song. Now it brings the song um, into the, the editor. So now I can go through the song and find if there's a section of the song that I want to use right. for my uh, video for my actual slideshow, I can choose any section of the song, scroll through it, choose any part that I want, and I'm gonna hit done. Okay, so now my, um, now my um, song is in on the clip. I'm gonna go to preview now, and now I can hear the music with the slideshow. From from your editor, guys. Now I'm in the in in the slideshow. The music's playing. I can tap on the music icon in the, up in the top here. Click on that music icon, and I can drop the audio on the soundtrack. That's it's called the bed, the music, right? I can drop the music bed on that to maybe thirty percent or forty percent, right? So it's just a nice, subtle, almost like an elevator music. It doesn't overpowering. The reason why I'm doing this is I'm gonna record a voiceover. Oh. So now in the upper, up, up top of here where the microphone is at, I'm gonna tap on record. And now it brings over the voiceover recorder. Okay, now I don't have a microphone hooked up. This is just me talking into the camera here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit record. Hey guys, I've got this beautiful new listing in North Valley. You cannot, you will not believe these interior shots. They're amazing. You have to see this home. Reach out to me for a home tour, hot housing market, blah, blah, blah. Hit done. Nice. Hey guys, I've got this beautiful new listing in North Valley. You did not do not believe these interior shots. Of course, I stumbled a little bit there, but you'll have your script. So reach out to me for a home tour. Hot housing market. You guys will know what you want to say. You'll you'll uh, you know you'll have it scripted out real quick. You know, little elevator speech on the property. Whatever you want to do, uh, whatever you want to say. Um, but then now you drop that music bed down. I'm gonna go back in. I just wanted to stop real quick because you're listening to that and me talk. I'll go back in here real quick. Whoop, I'm done. Preview. Hey guys, I got this beautiful new listing in. Okay, so you obviously can see you can do a voiceover. You don't have to have music. 
Uh, it's up to you, completely up to you. So in this case, I'm going to go back into the audio. I'm going to drop the music out just for this. And I'm going to kill the... Um, I'm going to kill the the, uh, the voiceover just so that you guys can hear me for this premise. Now imagine the voiceover is there, the music is there as well. Now this is where I can come in and I can either add stickers like I would for my stories. I can I can uh, I tapped on, I tapped on the little guy up here at the top. You see him right there. So I'm tapping on I'm tapping on the smiley sticker emoji eye guy uh, icon. So tapping on him now that allows me to add like you know if you want to do something like how amazing Arizona weather is. This is the this is why we move here for this kind of weather. I can drop the current temperature in the upper left hand corner. I can type out a call to action right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tap on the text and say um, you know email me. So you've got a call to action running in the bottom of your screen while the video is playing. So, or if it's your website, or if it's your phone number, or whatever text you want to say that is the, the slideshow, have that running in the bottom. I not want to be. Um, if I wanted to draw, I can tap on the uh, the pencil icon here. I can draw and use the highlighter or the paintbrush or the spray can. Lots of cool stuff there for you to do as well. The marker, uh, choose my color here at the bottom. I'm gonna go red and I can draw, I can point arrows and I can do a lot of cool stuff uh, to enhance and add to it. If you wanna undo it, just tap on the undo in the upper left-hand corner and that will undo everything you just did with the pencil. I'm gonna hit done and I'm going to choose, um, there we go, all right, done. Now. If I tap and hold on my uh, e uh, text, so what I just did was, let me cancel that. I'm gonna put my finger on email me, Keith at West USA. I'm gonna tap and hold on that. Now I can move this to appear at the very last slide. Right, I'm gonna find my spot right there, boom. I'm gonna hit pin. It's gonna pin that text to only appear at that last slide in the timeline. So right now the system or their, their software is pinning that text to only appear. You gotta give it a second cause it's you know doing some really cool stuff, right? Okay, so I hope everyone's doing well. <laughs> Mind you again. All right, here we go. Boy, sure is taking a long time to pin this one. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna hit next. Whoop, no. Let me start wearing my recycling real easy. Yeah, okay, I'll allow that. All right, I'm gonna go back real quick. And now, preview. Okay, there we go. So that, so, so the, the sun, the sun is there the whole time. So at the bottom of your screen right here, you're gonna have all your overlays are gonna line up for you, uh, kind of give you like a timeline of the overlays you have on. And I'm gonna tap on uh, my email. Now I'm gonna edit this to right there. And as I do this, my, my, um, my phone vibrates. There's a, there's a little a hip tap, the, 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 what does it call it? The taptic right there, boom, done. All right, so now I know it's a little grayed out there at the bottom. It's just showing you where it's at in reference to if you want to put more overlays on. But on the last slide, see how it popped up there? There you go. So it's grayed out because um, they give you like a faint a grayness to your overlay so you know where it sits in reference if you wanted to put other ones on there so you don't put them over top of one another. And then on the last slide, you'll watch it come bright white. That means it's boom, it's live right now. And then you're, so your last slide is, I'm gonna hit next. So your last slide is gonna be <clears throat> your call to action, email me at. So I'm gonna hit um, the, last the last frame here for you guys to do is uh, you're all ready to post to your shares. You're gonna write your caption. So whatever, you know, North Valley home, um, of course, you know, you capitalize, use some emo emotive content three bedroom, two bath, whatever the case may be. 
um, and then put all your content into your, your uh, story or your reels and use your hashtags, guys. Uh, lots of hashtags are important. One of my tricks that I like to use is having preset hashtags uh, on my Note app, or if you have a Note app at all for your uh, smartphone, uh, whether it's gonna be an Android or an iPhone, have preset hashtags. So uh, West USA Realty, your name, AZ Real Estate, Arizona Real Estate, um, whatever trending hashtags that are relevant to the content you're posting, then all you have to do is just copy and paste those over from your note into your story each time. You don't have to sit there and type them out. Really quick tip for you guys on that one. Um, have preset hashtags that have to do with you as an agent and then other topics, whether it's hiking, biking, uh, recipes, dances, whatever you're going to do, have set hashtags that you use consistently have those typed out in your note section and then copy and paste those over so that it makes it really easy for you. In this particular case, um, I have a, uh, if I ever type the words WUSA or West USA, so uh, WUSA, um, then I have a, a, a quick function set up on my iPhone and it automatically drops in all these hashtags for me. So that's, that's another workaround for you too. Um, it, it's your, it's the abbreviation. If I type this, then then put all this in here. Um, I should probably do a quick little um, hot tip for real estate agents. You know, I'm, I'll shoot that as a screen grab and uh, post that on our on our closed groups after this. Um, it take me 30 seconds, and it's a really fun one to do on your on your iPhone. Um, Amy and I talked about it last week, and I, I hope she's doing it too now. So um, those are your hashtags. Once you're ready to rock and roll, on sorry North Valley. Okay, I'm gonna hit okay. Um, you're also gonna share this to your feed. So that's gonna be a snippet that goes into your feed. Then people can click on it and see the whole reels. If it's um, more than a minute or it's five seconds and then it goes to the reels. And then tag anybody in the video that uh, is relevant. And guys, uh, if you ever post a, a real estate related content, um, tag at West USA Realty in there, tag our brokerage. Uh, when you do, then I can share it on ours. And of course, love to give you guys some additional exposure and love. We love when our agents create content and we love to recast it. All right, I'm hit done. And uh, one other trick for you guys there, if you want to use a particular, um, I'm going to hit cancel, you click on um, cover. So, I'm, so, so right there it says cover. I'm going to click on that. You want a particular, if you want to use a particular frame from um, your video, you would like to use a, a, a particular frame to be your starting image, your thumbnail. You can slide the scroller over and find the one you want and then hit done. Then your thumbnail for the frame for the starting one will always be the one you've selected. Or you can upload one, guys. Uh, you can add one from your cover roll or, your cover or your, your camera roll. And I want just a clean shot doesn't have all my overlays or anything on it and I'll hit done. That's my starting image. That's the one thing people are going to see and then they'll hit play and then all your other stuff will populate in there. That's a real nice tool for you guys to use as well. I know a lot of agents who will actually go, uh, they'll like particularly, um, um, they'll go and do their Canva. They'll take one of these frames, add a little call to action or, or a title and then use that as their still image as a cover photo or the, or the thumbnail upload that for the start of their video and then go on from there. So just another enhanced tool. All right, I'm going to hit share. This is going to share to our reels. And when you're, once all said and done, I'm going to click on our reels. Uh, there you go. So now when I'm looking at reels, it's just a nice clean interior shot. I'm going to hit play and it's going to open up for me. And this is your final product, finished product. So there you go. See, there's the three second time. There's music to it, pretending there's music. And then there's my last one, call to action, email me. And, I, and it just loops again. So hopefully, I know there's a lot to, there's a lot to unpackage there. There's a lot to digest. Hopefully that helps you guys a little bit better with your, like where it's at. I'm going to tap on this one and I'm going to hit the three little buttons in the corner and I'm going to hit delete. If you ever want to delete something, just hit delete and then it goes bye-bye. In this particular case, uh, I deleted it because it's not real. <laughs> it's not a real reels. <laughs> <That's stupid>. All right. <laughs> um, that's your basic functionality, guys, of your Instagram reels. There's a lot of cool things you can do when it comes to creating content. Um, you know, if you wanted to use a video, 
or use one of your videos like um let me cancel this real quick here we go real i'm gonna go into my camera roll i'm gonna find a video um my son was playing football the other day we we're running routes here's a video so that's going to import that in from your camera roll and i just got him doing some throw throwing some passes in the backyard of the house so i'm going to hit drop that in now i've got my first clip now i can trim this clip if i wanted to maybe i want to get him just hike to drop him back i'll hit trim and that'll clean that video up so same principle whether it's a static image or a video guys all the tools there can enhance it for you guys and you can just keep adding in so if you're shooting in, in virtual mode you get a nice frame shot walk through the house do a walk and talk interview somebody get them on camera uh there's a number of cool things you guys can do and and then use that to create content for your um your reels and uh you know keep it short keep it simple in the beginning uh get comfortable with using the editing tools Take yourself up right to the point where you are um, uh, ready to post and you've fumbled through it. You've gotten used to the content and, and creating the content, adding the music. And like I said, just start watching content from other agents. Start following other real estate agents and seeing what they're doing and then just replicate it. Take your notepad out, write down, okay, shot number one was the exterior of the home. Shot number two was the kitchen. Shot number three was the master bedroom. Fourth shot was the backyard. You could use video and just, just do a pan, stitch your videos together, open up that voiceover uh, portion I showed you guys and narrate what we're, we're looking at, right? Uh, you guys, you're gonna love this North Valley home recently came on the market or it's coming soon since we can do that here in Arizona. Um, highly recommend you guys uh, reaching out to me. As you can see, recently remodeled backyard or recently added a new backsplash. Uh, entertainers delight for the backyard reach out to me put an overlay at the bottom use those stickers have fun with it guys and then uh, practice with your house and then go out and replicate it with an actual listing and start getting real and creating some reels uh, as i said put the re in reels right real estate for sure you guys have any questions comments concerns compliments since i have low self-esteem feel free to email me i'm keith at westusa.com um uh, I thank you for your time today. I really do appreciate it. Next week, we're going to be doing uh, shooting smart video and smart photography with your smartphone. Uh, you guys don't need to go out and spend a lot of money on equipment. I can show you guys some cool, inexpensive stuff to really enhance your production, your, your video and photo quality through the use of your smartphone. That'll be next Thursday at 10 a.m. And, um, oh, sorry, I missed some questions here. Hold on. Apologize, guys. My chat box moved around on me. I find that the sound with the reels lags. We already got that one. Can anyone mute so I can hear Keith? Oh, yeah. Yeah, got it. Okay, sure. <laughs> Where do we find the scissors? Answer that question. All right. Yeah, thanks, guys, for participating. Uh, really enjoyed you on here. Email me if you have any um, other questions. Amy, what do you guys think? You've been having fun with reels. Um, it, I, I can honestly say I, I watched you start, and you've progressed very quickly, guys, so it's not that difficult once you get your hand around it. Yeah, if you don't mind, I just wanted to throw a suggestion that I found was really helpful when when coming up with this content. Please do. Um, I watch a lot of reels. Um, I spend a lot of time on it. They definitely work. I, I'm like using some shampoo now because of reels. But <laughs> anyways, so what I do is when I'm going through reels and I see something that I can either use, I mostly joke about dating and I try to do some work stuff in there too. Um, but when I see something, a video that I can switch around the words or change the dance or do something, I save it. And then nice. when I have time to do reels, I go through my saved and I rewatch the ones I saved. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm dressed for that. Or I'm in the area where I can do that reel. So anything that I see that I'm like, that would be perfect. I save it. And then if you go to those three little dashes on the top, right it stores all your saved videos. So that's been super helpful and time saving for me. Great call, absolutely. Cause yeah, cause people are concerned if I thumb up or I swipe down, I'm gonna lose the content on it and I didn't catch who the creator was. So I wasn't following them. Yeah, hit the save tab guys. And uh, you know, know this too, when you guys create content that people save, that people wanna save, that's only gonna boost you in the algorithm. So every time Amy saves something from that content creator, um, they're getting some bonus points. They're getting more weight with the actual um, program. 
And so when you're putting out your um, your viral, uh, or not so much your viral, but your educational, your empowering, your uh, mayoral type videos, um, people will save those. And if they do, it's going to help you out a lot. So create content that people want to save that's evergreen, right? So three things you need to do to get pre-qualified rarely ever changes. So that they're going to save that. Um, um, you know, uh, best ways to create some curb appeal for your home. A lot of that doesn't change. It's pretty much all basic principles when it comes to getting your house ready for sale or for listing, uh, you know, and, and, and encourage in your video, save this. If you're not ready to buy, save this for when you are, you'll have this in your archive and you'll be that much more of an educated seller or buyer for sure. Cool. All right, guys. Well, uh, if there isn't anything else, have a great day as always. Be kind, be safe to one another, and we will see you next Thursday. Thanks, Amy. Bye, guys.